Walk up this morning, think I'm about to go some of the day. Best friend got caught up when I stayed in Douglasville. Yo, man, it's it's a beautiful day today. You know, I I got my Starbucks. Um, I'm alive. Um, I'm just I'm just happy in general that I'm here to do these videos right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's the caffeine I've been kicking in. Frank Ocean biking is truly about bicycles. Genius news. Let's get into it. I like the song with Jay-Z on it. Get a bunch of bikes and ride them around and with your friends. Frank. What's the shit? Over the weekend, Frank Ocean dropped Biking, featuring Jay-Z and Tyler, the creator, on his Beats One Blonded radio show. And unlike most of his other cryptic titles, Biking seems to actually be about biking. Now, yes, Jay-Z, Tyler, and Frank all give their own metaphoric views of biking, but they also give nods that pro bikers and amateurs alike can appreciate. Biking kicks off with Jay-Z commenting how life is cyclical, like the wheels of a bike. Life goes a cycle, what comes around goes around, so from it goes down, nigga, get you some icicles. Jay goes on to mention a Baltimore based dirt biking group, the 12 O'Clock Boys. 12 O'Clock Boys, silly nice, huh? When in traffic, I'm feeling nice, huh? Jay Z also references the classic 1982 film E.T. E. on the handles. E.T. on the handles. <laughs> uh. But twist. I'm sorry, nigga. I'm sorry. I, I know this shit, bro. Unlike every other human on the planet, Jay doesn't even like the movie. Jay Z was there and he's like, I don't fuck with ET. <laughs> Jay's verse rounds out with a shout to Queens BMX rider Nigel Sylvester and a couple bike flips he's known to crush. Right quick, Nigel Sylvester with these bike flips. Uh, that's a full cab and a back flip. On the chorus, Frank drops a double entendre in reference to bike handlebars. If you what you can handle, I got the grip like a handle, and I'm biking. Genius contributor Rocking Genius broke it down with his annotation. Frank believes all the troubles and difficulties he's faced in life wouldn't have been given to him if God didn't believe Frank could handle it. Also, Frank holds tight to the handles on his bike, just doing his best to make it through life's challenges. He also uses the act of biking as a metaphor for the struggles everyone faces. I'm biking uphill and it's burning my quads. I'm biking downhill and it sound like a fishing rod. Tyler, the creator, mm -hmm. takes care he of Biking's does. fourth verse, playing on the word handlebars and referencing the PK Ripper, a famous aluminum frame BMX bike named after legendary BMX rider Perry Kramer. Alcoholic, why I handle the ball? It's a PK, PK Ripper. And it seems like Tyler heard Hove's verse for the song before finishing his own, as genius contributor Heisenberg points out. Tyler references Jay's earlier Big Willie line and even pronounces Willie like Wheelie, just as Jay did. Check it. Willie traffic, I'm feeling nice. Big Willie style, yeah, nigga, one wheel. One wheel, one wheel, nigga, one wheel. I fish tail downhill, yeah. The Odd Future rapper even connects a bike reference here to his 2013 song Slater that also features Frank Ocean and is also about riding bikes. I rose my rate. Brand new brakes. Why well, name is Slater? Ask my date. As Heisenberg tells it in his annotation, Tyler has explained that Slater is the name of his favorite bicycle. A video released on Blonded Radio's YouTube page also contains two extra bars that reference BMX biking. So sweet. See, who said BMX biking wasn't romantic? I'm Lethe for Genius News, bringing you the meaning and breaking knowledge behind the music. I'll see you next time. That's cool, though. I like this. That was very interesting to break all that down. I like I like how they do that. Well, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. Y'all be sure to listen to my latest album, Laura. I, I put my all into that. I wrote that fucking a year or two ago. Uh, I just been like getting better at looking in your eyes while we understand the bug. Talking about life and when we grow up. You told me that you want to disappear because you fear. 
If you stay here, you will end up nowhere. But time goes on. I get grown. A few years later, I found out you had a daughter that with a dude who was 21. He left you all alone. I help you with food because your situation reminds me of what my mother been through. Yes, you was a close friend and I truly love you. Truly love you. Oh, Laura. Peace. You know, I spit that shit. Sorry, you're the poet.